Hope you're hungry because the deli's open. Hey guys, Marco D'Angelo here for another week of sandwich shop games. I'm going to give you some games that were sandwich situations that didn't make the segment on Bet On It. Every week I'll bring you some of these matchups here. You know, I give my best one out every week on Bet On It. And I know you guys like that segment. So I decided to start doing more sandwich shop situations for you each week. Let's get into this week's action. In case you missed bet on it, the game I gave out on the show this week was NC State. Um, they're catching five points, and the situation there was Syracuse is off that barn burner in Las Vegas last Friday night with UNLV. That was a big game, Friday night TV game, and they beat UNLV in that game. Now they got to come back home, fly across country, and go back out on the road to play NC State this week. And look at who they got next week. Undefeated Pitt, top 25 team next week. So look for a little flat spot there from uh, Syracuse off that big win. Another sandwich situation here, staying with that UNLV game from last week. You got UNLV coming off losing in overtime, 44 to 41. Now that was UNLV's first loss, but it was a devastating loss for them because there was a lot of talk that if UNLV ran the table till they played Boise State in a few weeks, that the winner of that UNLV Boise State would be the team in line for that bonus uh, at large bid to get into the uh, 12 team playoffs. And uh, so they really hurt their chances with that loss. So you could have a carryover effect from that loss. Uh, and if you look at who UNLV plays next week, coming off that gut-wrenching loss last week, they got Oregon State next week. That's a Pac-12 game that big for them because they would be playing, you know, a bigger school. I know the Pac-12 really doesn't exist this year with just the two teams in it, but uh, UNLV will be looking forward to that game because Oregon State, one of the two remaining teams with Washington State in the Pac-12, the Pac-12 came calling and raided the Mountain West Conference from four teams out of the conference. Guess what? UNLV wasn't one of them. So they might be in a big sandwich spot here and are laying a big number on the road at Utah State. Be careful with UNLV as Utah State would be the sandwich spot game there. Another one to look at is Marshall. Now, Marshall was playing George, Georgia Southern. And it's Georgia Southern that is in the sandwich spot because they are coming off an upset win last Saturday over their rival, in-state rival, Georgia State. That was a big win for them. And look who they've got next week. They got the new darling of the conference. Remember, James Madison joined the a Sun Belt Conference and uh, had that stellar year last year, but wasn't eligible to go to the bowl game because of the first year in the conference. Uh, so they got James Madison on deck off of a rivalry upset win. Bad spot for them. Take a look at Marshall. Now, guys, I'm going to give you a couple more games here in a second. But if you made it to this point of the video, I appreciate you watching the video. And I also would appreciate if you do me a favor. If you like what you're seeing, hit the like button. Those thumbs up really help the channel. I appreciate you for that. And leave me a comment. Tell me what you like about the videos, what you don't like, what you'd like to see. Is We're here to make this enjoyable and profitable for you guys here with these videos. All right, uh, before I tell you about a couple games, trap games that I want to tell you about on the college slate, I want to just throw in a little advertisement here. If you guys like the way I do things and you would like to be a client, we've got a special going right now. Um, you can get the rest of 2024 for just $595. We charge, you could buy, buy the game $25 or when we have a 5% play, $35. You can buy by the week, $99. If you bought by the week and you bought me every week through the end of the season, you would spend just under $1,100. With this package for $595, you're getting every play in every sport for the rest of the year. 11 weeks left this year in 2024. And it would also include all of those 5% plays as well. Guys, 
this is the best time of the year. Why? Because all of the sports are running college and pro football. And you know what we've been doing with that. We're on a 12 and two run with our 5% plays. And you know, those 5% plays four no so far this football season, but you'll get NBA NBA, we're the number one handicapper at Wager Talk over the last four years, netting 198 units of profit. Hockey just started. You'll get our hockey plays. We're up 57 units over the last three years in hockey. Get everything, every sport I release for $5.95. That comes out to $7.50 per day. All right, enough about that. You can find all that over on my homepage at wagertalk.com. Now, let's get to a couple trap games, and we're going to take a look at North Carolina this week. Georgia Tech is coming in here, and they are in a major look-ahead spot. They're coming off that big win last Saturday over Duke, and they've got Notre Dame on deck. Not only do they have Notre Dame on deck, but that game is being played at the Mercedes-Benz Stadium in Atlanta, Georgia. So that is going to be a huge game for them, nationally televised game. They might just get caught looking ahead past North Carolina. North Carolina, I think, is in a live dog spot this weekend. Also, I'm going to take a look at the Pitt Panthers. Pitt Panthers, and my Pitt Panthers, undefeated, uh, just cracked the top 25, but I got to wonder, how does California pick themselves up off the mat from last week? If you remember last week, game day, college game day was in California for that Miami of Florida, California game. And California took it to Miami of Florida. They led from pillar to post. And what happened? Well, a rally in the fourth quarter by Miami, including not one but two touchdowns in the final four minutes, pulled out a one-point victory for Miami. That last touchdown came with just 26 seconds left in the game. I don't know how California uh, survives this week. They have to be devastated from that loss. And I always tell you, teams that are big underdogs and play their guts out and just come up short – oftentimes are flat the next week. Uh, so I would take a hard look at Pitt uh, in this game if you're playing it. Now, guys, the purpose of giving you these sandwich games and trap games is not necessarily telling you to bet all of these games, but maybe it'll keep you off of betting the other side. And as I always say, I can give you a winner or I can save you a loser. And actually saving you a loser is more beneficial to your bankroll than giving you a winner. And I know that sounds crazy, but think about it. If I give you a winner, you make one unit. If I save you from betting a loser, I saved you 1.1 unit with the juice. Hey, I hope you guys appreciate these videos. Enjoy them. Make some money with them. And, you know, we're trying to teach you how to handicap and different things to look at. So appreciate you taking the time to watch these videos. As I said, Drop me a comment. Tell me what you like and you don't like or what you want to see. And as always, guys, let's cash some tickets and let's have some sandwiches this weekend. Good luck with all of your wagers uh, this weekend. I'll talk to you next week.